All right, here we have a veiled or a flat neck chameleon. Um, once you notice how soft this, uh, this one cast is here, you can actually move it from side to side without moving his head too much. Um, a buddy is suffering from metabolic bone disease. There are several clinical signs you can tell here. One is the scoliosis and stuff at his back. Two, if you look at the rib line, his costochondral junctions are definitely uh, thicker there. Um, we're not seeing any pathologic fractures at this point in time, but this guy's been down for a bit. Whenever he stands to get stretched out, he lifts his head up and is stargazing. That is definitely a sign of some neurologic disease. It looks like this guy's been suffering from metabolic bone disease probably for months and really hasn't gotten to the point where he's got pathologic fractures. But as of recently, he started having his stargazing and, uh, and head tilt off to the left there. And, uh, and that's definitely a sign of vestibular syndrome. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna start treating for his vestibular disease. Hopefully his metabolic disease is not so far gone with treating for secondary fractures and that type of thing. But anyway, um, this is his client, Sir Chameleon. Uh, it turns out that she thought he had, she had picked up a UVB source from the pet store that was sufficient. And it basically is another UVA. <laughs> kids are going to have one of those guys, you must know the difference between UVA and UVB sources. Um, the average reptile needs basically three things to keep it from getting metabolic bone disease. It needs the right light, which is uh, UVA, heat, UVB, um, and UVB source for the, uh, to inactivate the enzymes. It needs uh, <laughs> a good temperature, uh, normal for each individual species. And then it also needs a good diet. In this case, it would also be high in calcium and phosphorus to make some more decent bones. Um, so anyway, that's where we're at for now. Uh, we're gonna send this guy home for his uh, vestibular disease. We're adding an antibiotic. I'm also adding some uh, some calcium phosphorus solution to it, as well as uh, some high glucose for, for a little bit of energy. And mama's gonna be force feeding this guy for a while, getting him under the right light, and we'll see how well he works. All right, that's it for now.